Grassroots Free School is still working to rebuild both of its campus buildings that were nearly destroyed by the May 10th tornadoes. Trees were through the roofs of the buildings and it, it was, I, I was wondering if it was repairable or not. I'm Kenya Cardone in the Northwest Tallahassee neighborhood, digging into what's next for the school and how the community is stepping up to help through a concert fundraiser. I was first able to pull up at the school Saturday morning to see it and it just brought me to t tears. It's been almost two months since tornadoes caused extreme destruction at Grassroots Free School, something school director Kim Weinrich tells me she's still processing. Several dozens of trees that were down on our property, playground, schools, um, and you know, damage throughout the, the school. All of which forced the school to close for summer break earlier and cancel summer camp. It was like seeing your own home devastated. I couldn't stop crying. As a third generation alum and former staff member at Grassroots, Carrie Wharton says the damage affected her personally. Trees were through the roofs of the buildings and it, it was, I, I was wondering if it was repairable or not. She says it's what motivated her to organize a benefit concert with the support of others in the community. More than 100 neighbors gathered at American Legion Hall Sunday to enjoy live musical entertainment, food, gift basket raffles, and silent auctions, all in support of Grassroots. As the school works on heavy debris cleanup and securing a portable building for the next school year, they say all the donations and community support goes a long way. Grassroots school wouldn't have made it this long if not for community. It also served as a much needed distraction. Kind of relaxing for a little bit and putting the stress of the rebuild of the school to the side for a moment and having a good time and celebrating. I've been in tears many times throughout the last two months and this, you know, this overwhelming feeling I have now brings me to tear, but in tears, but in a good way because I'm seeing how much support we have. The school's director tells me that she and her staff are going to do everything they possibly can to try to welcome students back to school in August. In Northwest Tallahassee, Kenya Cardone, ABC 27.